So moving on to number seven in our list of things hurting your health, ignoring your fibroids, ladies. 50 to 80% of women will develop one or more fibroid tumors by the time they reach their 35th birthday. Such was the case with Aisha. Just take a look. My name is Aisha, I'm 26 years old, and I've suffered from fibroids for about two years. After dealing with the pain and everything, I finally decided to get the embolization done to shrink the fibroids down. Walking into the hospital, I, I started to get a little nervous because it's like the procedure's here, it's real, it's happening. I get frustrated because people will look at my stomach like, wow, why is your stomach so big? The biggest fibroid that I have is the size of a four to five month fetus. I'm excited just to get this procedure done and to feel better. So how are you feeling today? I'm getting a little nervous. We'll, we'll take really good care of you. Uh, the first thing we have to do is to get vascular access. We're going to be using a very small needle. We're making a little incision into the femoral artery. We're going to start with a catheter. It's called a cobra. Now we're into the uterine artery on the right side. What you're seeing on the screen right now, you can see a dark color that's about halfway up the screen. That's this patient's fibroid. I mean, it's, it's way above her hips. These particles are basically like little grains of sand, and what we're doing is essentially pouring cement into the pipe. This is the area that supplies blood to the fibroids. Without oxygen, which is in the blood, uh, the fibroids are going to wither over uh, six months. We're done now with the right side, so we're going to go over and do the left side. We're going to put a device inside the artery to, uh, to seal the artery wall. Okay. Aisha, we're all done. Everything went great. 